it's Annette Green here with Graphic 45 and today I wanted to share with you a super simple but very effective stamping technique and um, as I show you that technique I will be showing you how I made these great glass ornaments using Graphic 45's combination of 12 days of Christmas from last year and this year's Twas the Night Before Christmas. So let me show you how I did it. So it starts with these great glass ornaments from Hobby Lobby. They are glass. They're very thin um, glass. And there's three in a pack, $6.99. I got them for 30% off. And um, I also used a couple of other things in my stash, just things I've collected, some tinsel twine, some poinsettias, um, some pine cone trims. And uh, also from Graphic 45, I use the cling stamp sets from Twas the Night Before Christmas, various images off of there. And uh, from last year's 12 Days of Christmas, I used the banners. And I did use some chipboard too, and this one sheet of paper to do some fussy cuts. So as you can see, because this is sort of rounded at the edges, it's in its glass. It's kind of tough to stamp on. So this is just the stamping technique. This is tissue paper, white gift wrap. This is tracing paper, kind of a higher quality, almost vellum-like. Uh, I'm going to try both of these. First, I'll do the tracing paper. And I'm using archival ink. Uh, this is just a method to get a stamped image onto glass. So I'm using one of those great cling stamps from Hampton Art for Graphic 45. And the reason I use archival ink is because we're going to be using some glue over the top of this. We're also going to color over the top of this. So you don't want to have any water-based ink going on here. You need this archival. It's important. So I'm inking up the stamp really well. I'm going to stamp it right onto that tracing paper and see how this goes. Okay, so if I take a look at it here on this tracing paper, I am not happy with this stamped image. It's thick and it's kind of bleeded out a little bit. And this is what it looks like on the tissue paper. Nice and sharp and clean. So I'm gonna use this. And like I said, it's just plain white gift tissue and it works really well. So I'm gonna use that one. I'm going to cut around closely with some nice sharp detail scissors. Um, if you didn't want to see a halo of the white tissue paper when you glue this down, you could cut right up very close to your stamped image, but I wanted to make sure I got some of those script words in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut around that. And to adhere this to my ornament, I'm using this glue and seal. You could probably use Mod Podge or any kind of gluing and sealing type of glue. So I'm putting some on the back of my tissue, and I'm going to just stick that down onto my ornament and press it down well, get all the edges, no bubbles, kind of smooth it out. And I'm trying to be sort of careful about not getting glue all over the ornament as I do this. But if that happens, you can just come back in with a damp towel and just kind of rub away and it'll come right up if you get it quickly. Now I'm coming back in with more of that glue and seal, just doing a light coat over the top, catching the edges, making sure I seal it all really well. And this sort of just preps it so that you can come back in later and color and glitter and do things to it. Had we done water-based ink, this would all be smearing at this point. And you can kind of speed up the process here with a hair dryer or a craft dryer if you have it, but I'm kind of impatient so I was speeding it up there. Okay, now I'll go in and I use Copic markers. You could use any alcohol marker that you want at this point and I'm just kind of enhancing some of the things in the stamp by coloring them in lightly. And you can even color over some of those darker areas that, that are gray or black looking. The color will still kind of come through. And for some of the white areas of Santa's beard, I use this great Wink of Stella pen. I guess it's um, like a little paint pen. And this is the silver. And it just puts a nice little transparent sheen on everything. So I'll go through and do that throughout where I want, where white images would normally be on Santa's beard. I'll just 
color all that in. Then I'll touch in a few spots of green here and there just to bring in another color. And once I'm happy with this, then I'm working on the inside. And so I grab different uh, types of glitter that I had, tinsel glitter, snowy glitter, glitter glitter. And um, I'm going to fill the inside somewhat with this glitter. So I take off the top of the ornament there and I shake in a little bit of this. I'm not filling it all the way up. Um, a funnel would probably have been good at that point, but I just dumped it in there and I kept dumping it in until I got about maybe a quarter of an inch full at the bottom there. Then I'm going to take my good, good old can of Elmer's spray adhesive here, shake it up, and you see I'm working on newsprint. And I've shaken the glitter around in the ornament so it's kind of on the back, flat on the back there. And so I'm spraying in and changing the angle of the can a little. I'm spraying the glue right into the ornament. And then I'll shake this up and hope that the glue kind of grabs hold of the tinsel and it sort of coats the inside. So I'm shaking it all around. And then I went back in if I wasn't happy and I wanted a little more coverage and I shot a little more glue in there and then just shook it up again. It's not supposed to look completely full of glitter, so I just wanted a little hint of it sticking to the walls in here. Now I'll go back to the front of my ornament and just to kind of kind of blend in and make the outside edge of that stamped tissue paper uh, look a little bit better and more decorative. I'm going in with some clear glue. This is liquid glass from close to my heart. There's You could use any clear glue really, glossy accents, firecracker glue. And um, I'm spreading it with my finger just so it's not a big thick blobby line around there. So thin it out a little bit. And then I'm just going to dump on a whole bunch of glitter. This is distress glitter. You could really use anything. And I'll shake off the excess there and it will stick to the glue. And you can see a lot of the glitter stuck to um, that Wink of Stella markering that I did on there. So I'm just going to go in with a paintbrush and kind of brush that off because it wouldn't have stuck, stuck there anyway permanently. So now I just have to let it sit and dry and I can go in and I'm hot gluing these fussy cut holly leaves and all these other embellishments right to the front of the ornament. And then just to dress it up even more at the end, I'm using hot glue around the perimeter of the ornament and I'm going to lay some of that tinsel twine on there. When I'm coming around the top to finish it off, I'm going to go ahead and go around the, um, the little topper there on my ornament with a little more glue all the way around. And then I'll pick up that tinsel twine and just kind of wrap that around for a finished look. Um, I'm, I have a little excess here that I'll just trim away. Okay, and that's it. I did go in and I added in those little pine cones that I showed you and I gl hot glued a little bell on each one and added some twine to the tops. Um, I think these are going to look really pretty when they're on the Christmas tree with the lights um, on the tree kind of reflecting through the glass ornament and kind of reflecting off of the little glitter and stuff that's inside. So I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you give them a try and I thank you for watching. Have a great day.